The 2016 legislative session has started. It's a short session, a non-budget writing session, scheduled to last 60 days. What are some of the issues you think the legislature will be dealing with this year? Mainly this is a supplemental, supplemental year and sitting on the Appropriations Committee as I have for the last 12 years. Every supplemental budget has been different. This year I think we're trying to get out in 60 days. And so what we're looking at is mainly covering the fire season. We had a very devastating fire season, over 1.5 million acres burned this year. And so it's something that we need to be taking care of uh, and also be planning for in the future. So that's going to be a big part of the supplemental budget. We will be having some issues rising out of McClary, but there'll be no major decisions this year. We're going to wait for the uh, uh, biennial budget for the 17, 18 years, and so that's something that uh, we'll take a look at real quickly and set, set aside so that we can take care of some of the major issues facing us, such as the charter schools. Uh, the charter school bill has passed the Senate. It's coming to the House for a hearing, and hopefully uh, the majority party, uh, the Democrats, will get enough people to join us, Republicans, and getting the charter bill passed, and hopefully the governor uh, will see the light of day and understand that charter schools are an integral part of learning in this state and that we will get a charter school bill passed. There's talk of the possible impeachment of state auditor and former Democrat House member Troy Kelly. This would be historic. What's the latest on that? Well, the latest on that is that uh, Representative Pat Sullivan, who is the majority leader in the House, said there will be no, no impeachment trial. Uh, and that's not for him to decide. That is for the body of the House to decide. Uh, Troy Kelly has clearly violated his constitutional duties to the people of this state. He's under federal indictment, and the FBI does not waste its time issuing federal indictments, so they definitely have a case against him. During this time frame, uh, for the last seven months, uh, State Auditor Kelly vacated his office and gave it to a non-elected individual, which is a clear violation of our state constitution. You cannot vacate your office. I can't even vacate my office to take vacation during session or even take any time off basically when, during, when we're not in session too. Uh, this is a full-time job, same as his. And so he has vacated his office, gave it to a non-elected official. He needs to be impeached based on that. Uh, the indictments notwithstanding, uh, he hasn't been convicted yet. Uh, I don't, that's up to a jury of his peers to decide what's going to happen there but he has violated state law, our state constitution, and he does need to be removed. And all the parties, Democrats and Republicans, agree on this. We've seen the legislature go into several special sessions the last few years. Your thoughts about this session? I don't think we're going to be going into a special session. This is a 60-day supplemental budget. And as I said just a few minutes ago, uh, we're here to do supplemental issues. We need to get money to pay for the fires that occurred this summer. We need to set money aside for any future fires. Hopefully we won't have as bad a fire season as we did this uh, last year. Um, God willing, we won't. And so I'm hoping that uh, we'll be out of here in 60 days. There's really no need for a special session. It's a supplemental budget year. Mainly we're here for charter schools to help with last fire season and some other areas that we've had some shortfalls in but no, ma no major bills, no major new revenues, and uh, we, sh we should be done in 60.